Good, here we go. Okay, so again, I, I have all these, we can just buzz through this. Um, just how our, our offense is defined, fullback, same thing as a tight end, guys. You need to understand how physical we wanna be, what's asked of us. Um, I think it was when I was a GA back in 2011, the fullbacks were always with the tailbacks and the tight ends were alone. Um, I think there are some benefits to that as far as, you know, some of your, you know, your run scheme and making sure you're seeing some things the same way and fullbacks are running it like a running back sometimes and in, in some of those schemes, but within our offense to have the fullbacks and tight ends together, uh, especially how we want to personnel things and put people in a position to be successful based off schemes and, um, create really good mismatches for us, uh, they need to be together. So um, they're one and the same in our mind. Now, we may have some fullbacks that are a little bit better at some things. Um, and then maybe some fullbacks who can play tight end, uh, like that 44 kid who I think is really good at, at doing some on the line stuff and on the ball stuff. So we're going to start to work that a little bit more. And he can do that sitting in our room. Uh, but our run game essentials, uh, like I talked about, our, our run blocking fundamentals. Um, again, everything is the exact same like we talked about from a tight end standpoint. Just going to get more uh, specific to the fullback position. Another look offset here. Go to first step. One, two, three. Need to get that foot in the ground with power. He's kind of setting the setting the momentum here, but we're getting a little bit of a stalemate. And we're powerful and strong enough not to get knocked back. So that's a pretty good job by by Andrew there. Yeah, pretty good isolation clip there. We'll get to some ISOs. Our quarterback right there, Carson. He'll get it figured out. He's too good of a kid and good player. Again, understanding, you know, what's asked of us. This is more of an outside zone scheme, trying to get to the arm, far armpit, place that armpit of the defender, uh, staying square, hitting a moving target, starting underneath the chute, and then hitting a moving target instead of everything being stagnant or on air. Again, then I'll ask, oh, hey, this type of block is going out one way. This type of block is going out the other way in the chutes. Again, in fall camp, trying to get as many repetitions. And uh, these are, this is stuff. And I know from a high school standpoint, you probably don't get the luxury as much to watch practice film, but these, this is stuff that we will watch. I will go through this and I'll make sure to, to show good clips and show clips to, to some kids that, Hey, we need to, you're not getting your second step down enough. You need to get your, your eyes through your aim point a little bit more. You need to get your shoulder pad underneath his chin and run your knees vertical. So yeah, biggest thing, they don't stop until, uh, they hear the whistle and um, these guys do want to come out and be violent against each other. And that's what I appreciate. But at the end of the day, they are uh, their brothers and good friends. I may hold that whistle a little bit longer, but here's Holton. Here's me throwing that, uh, that med ball, just having, you know, obviously hand eye coordination, uh, aim small, miss small with my, with my focus and uh, punching my hands, not just setting them on the on the med ball, keeping the agile bag there to maintain maintain a good base. Uh, I could have even put a, a PVC pipe there too to get it up and down over that PVC pipe. Is a really good rep by Nate. Nate was a quarterback in high school. Uh, I mean, a lot of these kids weren't, you know, highly recruited <laughs> uh, kids. Noah was a Big Ten kid, and then Ben Ellison, the one who played with the Jaguars, had a had a offer from Purdue late and stayed with us. But, you know, working some of the fullback stuff on this side that we'll get to, and then some of the inline tight end stuff going out the other way. Again, how, how can we get as many repetitions as we possibly can in, in our amount of time that we get for individual? Again, working our track, maintaining our good base over the agile bag, understanding where we want to block the defender. Okay, and if he's trying to fall in on the play, we'll pull that inside hand off and get my eyes back to the play side. Don't let him fall in there. If we're keeping our hands in there, well, and he starts running that way, what are we going to get? We're probably going to get a holding call. So you need to pull that inside hand off and then try to keep that defender outside of you, swoop my eyes to the play side, and stay square and finish. Your man cannot get in on the tackle. 
one thing we preach a ton. Some more inline blocking stuff. Uh, may have the defender move out. Okay, well, you got the sea gap. Don't chase rainbows. Something's going. Something's going to be coming. Defense is too smart. They're all gapped out too. So here we're just in, in a 21 personnel formation. Okay, we've got a two receiver surface here. Our Y is going to run the out route. Our, our Z here is going to have the outside release vertical. And our fullback is going to sell power and get to the flat. Our guard here is going to sell the, uh, the power pull and then get a little bit of depth. Would like to get his eyes to the outside a little bit here so he's taking a little bit more heat off uh, for the quarterback. And this is our quarterback, Trey Lance, who's, who did a really good job for us um, this past year. So here you're getting your, your, your high low. You got the fullback, take it. You got your outside release and then you got your post over, or actually it's a one receiver surface back there. So he's just got the over at 12 yards. And from this for, from this formation, it gets a little bit hard because you don't want the tight end and the fullback just to be stacked. You want them to be a little bit offset. Okay. 